Welcome back to Tableau and another learning video. So in the first learning video, you looked at how to load data into Tableau in build some analysis, but now you decide you need to bring a second data source in, into the same workbook. Yes, you've succeeded the first one, but you need more data. Sometimes it's just not enough to have one data set. So what happens? We need to do a certain data set. Think about what, why we do that. Like major actions like pivoting your data from columns to rows will impact your primary view and probably mess up all your original visualizations that you created. The second, the first data set only tells part of the story. Maybe you need additional detail. Your analysis might just require more detail, like maybe you're bringing in GDP data or those kind of things. And then also, once you get the second data source into Tableau, how do you manage that data source? How do you alternate or switch between data sources? These are questions we're going to look at in this very short learning video. So let's go ahead and go over to Tableau here. And as you saw in yesterday's video, we created these charts and everything. We have one data source here, which is Superstore Data Global, and we created multiple charts. And then we created one dashboard that was kind of linked and everything else. However, if you wanted to create a second view of data, say only for Europe, and you didn't have it in the global data set, but you, Europe had their own data set, you'd have to bring in another data set. So the way to do that is not to confuse the work you've already done. Create a new worksheet, go to the main menu, go data, new data set, then you click on your sources, just like the primary data set, you go Excel, and here I downloaded the Superstore EU data, which has EU information in it, which might be very different in the global data set. Like for example, we have order information here in the EU, which is, would not be available in the primary data set. So let's go to sheet four where we just brought that in and go EU data and make sure that the set, I can even slide this over if you can see the whole set, it's Superstore EU data and maybe here we could do an order analysis, right? And we can actually come in and say, what well, we have data set is slightly different, but similar. Row data, customer name, maybe, I don't know, we regret this. I'm gonna stick order date in the columns. And maybe the sales number by those order dates into the um, detail. So here we have it, our second data set. Now, like I said, this might be very different, and we rename this to EU order data. All right, so that's the first step is bringing the second data set in, which we successfully did. Now let's create another analysis. Now, another analysis, you can alternate between the two data sets. And you can see they're actually bigger, right? Look at all the different fields in the two data sets. So you can pick which data set you want to bring in, which one you didn't. Now, I did not recreate a relationship between these two data sets, and that's a different video. But in this case, I have the alternate to, to go through one to the other. I could also put in a third data set for say, world indicators and bring it that way. Doing the same thing, you basically go to this sheet and you create new data source. But once that data source is in, you can just alternate between the data sources. You may also come back here, right click and close the data source to remove it from the um, workbook, but it won't be there. You can also export it to a CSV file if you want to get the data out. So those are certain things that you can do. And of course you can go view data. And lastly, you can refresh the data. So if you're linked to a database where you update, refresh the Excel or text file, you can refresh the data. So these are all things that you can do like hitting refresh. I hope this video was helpful. If you have anything, leave some question marks in there in the comments and um, I'll answer those. And like always, have a great day. Remember to subscribe.